bloomies. So today I'm going to show you guys how to get that sophisticated actress makeup look. And today we're going to do the makeup look from Kim Jiyeon from Queen of Tears. Now actress makeup look isn't about color. It's all about highlighting your natural features. And to do this, we're going to focus on four points of our makeup today. And that'll be one, a clean semi-matte base. Two, muted colored eyeshadows. Three, natural contouring. And four, muted matte lips. Now let's get started. For applying makeup, you want to use toner pads with an exfoliating side to gently exfoliate the dead skin cells on your face so your makeup applies smoother. And then we'll be using the Robectin Hyaluronic Essence. My makeup artist in Korea always uses this and it makes your makeup glide so well. Now I'll be using this moisturizer from the lab. You don't want to use a super heavy moisturizer because your makeup can end up looking really cakey. So you want to use a lighter moisturizer like this on their makeup. Now finishing it off with my favorite sunscreen to use on their makeup. I don't know what skin 104 put in this but it makes my makeup look so smooth. And for today's primer, I'm going to use Chung Sen Woods Mool Cream. This is the hottest essence primer in Korea right now and it makes your makeup glide like butter. And don't forget to apply tone up cream if you have some warm hues like me because today is going to be a cool tone makeup look. Now I'm going to cover my dark circles and blemishes first using the Luna Conceal Palette. I'm going to use this mint shade right here to cover any pimples and blemishes. And then I'm going on with the salmon shade to neutralize the dark circles. Now going on with the actual concealer shade, we're going to fully cover the dark circles. For today's foundation, we'll be using the Tear Tear Foundation in shade 21N. This has been my everyday foundation and the coverage of this is insane. It's apparently not a BB cushion, it's an actual foundation which is why the coverage is crazy. I love this foundation so much, 100% recommend. Now let's quickly do our eyebrows and today's gonna be like a semi-arch look to give that elegant actress look. And if you naturally have straight brows like me and you want that semi-arch look, you can just draw your eyebrows slightly more downwards on the front so it gives the illusion that there's an arch. And we're going to tint our eyebrows lighter to give a softer appeal. Now going on with our eyes, you want to use eyeshadows with a muted tone. And I'll be using the Daisy palette in shade 24 Muted Nuts. I'll be mixing this two for the base shade today, apply it on the top and bottom. And then I'm going to mix these two muted brown shades and apply it on the outer corners. For the bottom, you want to only bring this to the end of your pupil and make sure the top and bottom are connected. And I'll be finishing it off with these two darker shades and shade the outer corners again and bring the remaining to the inner side of your eyelid, not the entire eyelid. And this only goes on top. We'll be creating our egg side with this shade and start from the inner corners all the way out to the end, but not too drastically, very naturally. And using this champagne shade, highlight your egg side. We're not using glitter today because that'll turn into idol makeup. And for eyeliner, we're going to tight line our eyeline and very naturally create a small wing. And if the ends of your wings are too rounded, you can always use a concealer pencil and define the line. Now we're going to apply our mascara, but the shade of our mascara is super important. Make sure that the mascara is not a straight black shade. Instead, you want it to be like an ashy black. This is the one from Roman and it's in shade 2 Long Ash. Curl your lashes and because I have stubborn lashes, I'll also be using an electric curler. Now after you apply your mascara, you want to use a tweezer like this, a dome shape. And we're going to use this to create individual lashes. You want to grab your lashes from the root and clip them to the end. These dome shaped filament lead tweezers were actually made to make it easier to make these individual lashes. So make sure to grab this on Olive Young if it's in stock because it's so handy. And this is how it looks with the individual lash effect and regular mascara. This is honestly a preference so just go with the one that you like. And we're going to only slightly apply mascara on the bottom lashes. And for contour, we're going to use the shadow palette from Dasic. Don't focus too much on the hollows of your nose here. And avoid contouring too much on the side of your nostrils. Same to the other side. And when you're contouring your face, don't shade the hollows of your cheekbones. Shade the top of your cheekbones here, bring it straight down, and contour under the jawline, not on the jawline. And this is how it looks. This way it doesn't leave a harsh cast on your jawline, and it looks much more natural. And for blush, we're going to use a 3CE blush in shade City Mall. Focus on the inner apples of your cheeks and slightly on top of your eyes. This is a tip I learned from G Idol's makeup artist. And this makes your side profile look really pretty because there's no division between your contour and your eyelids. And same to the other side. And we're going to lightly highlight our face using the Wake Make Highlighter. And highlight the tip of your nose, top of your nose, and a little bit on your cheekbones. And we're going to finish off this makeup look with our lips. And you're going to need three things. A lip pencil, a muted nude shade for my base, and a darker shade for the inner corners. Now because these are matte, if you have chapped lips like me, you first want to moisturize your lips. And apply some hyaluronic acid, apply it on the pad, and wipe it off. This is going to moisturize your lips and give it a plump effect. Start by lining your lips all over. And then apply your base shade and blend it out. 
and then use a darker shade and apply it to the inner sides of your lips. And you guys see this glow on my forehead? We're gonna get rid of that to get that semi-matte effect, but if you like glowy looks, you can just leave it as is. And I'll be using the Laneige Blurring Powder. And this is the finished look, guys. I hope you guys liked it. And if you followed this tutorial, I'm sure you look gorgeous. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!